to this Wood City Collective presentation. I'm Paul, and I've been back from the thrift store with another big haul. 13, 13 cards to be exact, at a buck a piece. Let me know. Let me know in the comments if I did a good job on anything, and if what uh, you know anything you can add to this. I start off with a couple of those uh, tune little race, tune little pullback car things. I don't know if you saw them in one of my more recent videos. The Tonka, the Tonka Turbo Tricksters, made by Takara. This is an Audi Quattro, I believe. They pull back. They do. They do pull back, and they go. You put a little coin here. You put a penny. You do a wheelie. Which is that one. This no name brand, but tells me that it's a Benz made in Macau. A Mercedes Benz, the Gullwing Benz. I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head. All plastic, see through window, rubber tires, pull back motor. And MC Toys, which I think is probably this is an MC Toys, it's just not marked MC Toys, but this is an MC Toys Citroen. With a funky tampo on the top. Raid Afrique, 1973, 74, 73, 75, 78. I can't read that well. But I've uh, been watching a lot of Small Model Collector, and he has a bunch of those tune cars. He does the Churro Cues from Japan. But uh, I buy what I can get cheaply because that's how we that's how we roll here. A one Johnny Lightning, a sixty nine Eliminator, the old style Johnny Lightnings. This one's a bit messed up on the top, but uh, gonna look nice from the side. Opening hood, that beautiful cast engine, nice grow work, side tempos, backlights. That's pretty cool. Metal body, metal base, uh, plastic tires because it's the old Johnny Lightnings. When they wanted to go down the track. Or more along the lines of when they went down the track. Oh, oh, I'm going to have problems. So if we move this here, it's totally on the level. That shouldn't roll off now. One Matchbox. Three Matchbox fans. A Datsun 280Z. I believe. Yes. ZX. 2 plus 2. In the... Probably the post Lesney era with those wheels might be the Tyco era. Could be early. I think it's Tyco era. Lovely tampos. Not too. Not too too bad. Still got the opening doors on your tan interior on your lovely black Datsun. And I believe it still has the Hot Wheel suspension, which is pretty cool. The camera back a little. Give me a little more room to show off the cars. Then we got one giant Tootsie Toy, an AMC Gremlin. Pretty good condition. I probably can scrape this gunk off or whatever that is. But uh, look good on this display shelf. And the hatchback cord. Interesting to get it in purple. The sticker's still on the sides. Now we're into Hot Wheels in random fashion. A greased Gremlin. I don't know what for where tempo wise, but I don't have an original Grease Gremlin. I only have a Spectre Flame one that came out of a Real Riders set from a Walmart exclusive set. So, always good to have a Grease Gremlin. This you might have seen on my community tab. I think I'm going to keep it as it is. If I find one in way worse condition, I might customize it. The uh, hair splitter, because you know, never leave a die cast up behind. Got my first old school real rider, the 40s, the uh, 40 Ford two door. Tires are all there, wheels are all great. Chipped up a little bit, but uh, still not bad. Nice tempos on the side. Has to be all from one collection because they all have that little black mark on the base. Probably so that, the kid, so that when the kid took them to their friend's house, they knew which ones to get back. Now I got a couple of Porsches. I believe this is a Porsche 930, if I'm if I remember correctly. Metal on metal, five spokes. I think this is 1996 release. I'm looking for a I'm looking for a Porsche to to try my hand at uh, Maple Leaf Cust. I think it's Maple Leaf Customs. Excuse me, Maple Leaf Matchbox, whatever. But anyway, Maple no Maple Leaf Customs is fourth annual Porsche build. Because um I don't know. So that's why I picked up these two. I'm probably not going to use either of these because they're too nice. 
This is a Predator or the P... No. I don't know which one it is, but it's the it's li labels the Predator. Nice Spectra Flame paint. Lightning on the front. The wind, the uh, lights pop up from the base. Metal body, metal base. The uh, Ultra Hots, I think these are. There is... Is there an... There... I can't tell. I don't think there's an interior, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna eventually find the right Porsche. And we get two interesting Hot Wheels from the Hot Wheels Corgi era. First off is this Mercedes, which you can tell is not a Hot Wheels casting because those wheels are way too small for the casting. But the dead giveaway is the base. That's not a. That's not a traditional Hot Wheels base, but it's in beautiful. Uh, near mint to mint condition. Tempoed lights on the back. Tempoed grill on the front. The headlights make up. The headlights come from the window piece. The black interior. Oh, I just noticed the Hot Wheels logo tempoed on the window. And lastly, the most interesting of the bunch of the Corgi of the uh, Corgi castings, the Chevy Corvette. But it has an opening hood, revealing a wonderful plastic black engine. The whole canopy and window piece is plastic. Again, mint condition. My favorite five spokes. It has suspension. Uh, no, it does not have suspension. It does have tampos on the taillights. Uh, actually, is it? No, those are not tampos from the taillights. Those are lens. Those would be technically lens taillights because they come from the interior piece. I don't know about the grill, the uh, grill work, or those lights down there, but. Uh, Definitely interesting castings. Definitely like that thrift store. Definitely gonna definitely like showing you off what I buy. So this is my latest, well, my first thrift store haul of 2024. If you made it this far, I thank you for watching. And as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye.